Hi, this is Becca, or as my students call me, Miss Wheeler. Today, we'll spend a few moments talking about thoughts. Now, your brain is an amazing storyteller. We have a loop of thoughts that run with us all day long. Some of those thoughts can make us really excited about the future. We might have others that make us really happy and joyful when we remember good times with our friends. Um, other thoughts can help us complete our homework or to do difficult tasks. And then we have some thoughts that can be really worrisome, that can make us scared or anxious about the present or about the future. And they can sort of take a life of their own. And we begin to believe that those worrying thoughts are true, even if they're not. Sometimes I like to call this monkey brain, like we have a bunch of scurrying monkeys that we're trying to catch that are really difficult. And when those worrying thoughts can sort of run away from us, it can be really hard to turn those thoughts back around and make them positive. So just what kind of worrisome negative thoughts am I talking about? Well, these are thoughts that play in a loop in our mind. It can be really hard to break out of. And the more we think and focus on them, the bigger these thoughts become. For instance, maybe I'm not good enough or no matter what I do, I'll always make a mistake, or I'm not good at math and I never will be. Um, sometimes these thoughts can be about our body and our body image. Uh, I'm not pretty enough, I'm not handsome enough. Um, no matter what I do, I'll never fit in this group because I don't look like blank. And it can be, again, really hard to break out of those thoughts if we allow them just to run wild in our mind. So this activity from Big Life Journal, I really like a lot. Uh, it just gives you a chance to help turn those negative thoughts into positive ones. So the idea with this activity is you would start off with your brain and first realize that you can choose your thoughts. So first, you might consider which worrying thoughts you tend to have the most and start from those and then turn, try to turn those negative thoughts into positive ones. And on your brain, in the thought bubbles, you would write those positive thoughts instead. Just to remind yourself, when a negative thought pops up, you can replace it with the positive ones. And it really does help to write those thoughts down. So for instance, if you have the negative thought, you know, I can't do anything right, I'm always gonna make mistakes, you might turn that around and say, I can make mistakes and learn from them. And the focus then becomes on the learning and the change. Or if you had the thought um, that I'm not pretty enough, you might write in that thought bubble, I'm proud of myself just the way I am. So if you have that negative thought come up, you can look at that brain and see the positive thought that you have written there. And after you completed your brain picture, after you've written those positive thoughts in the bubbles, put that picture somewhere you can see it. Maybe take a picture of your brain and save it in your phone or your tablet or place it on your mirror. And that way, anytime you have one of those negative thoughts, you can pull out your brain and remind yourself of those positive thoughts that you wrote down. It also just helps to remind yourself when you have one of those negative thoughts that first of all, you don't have to believe every thought that passes through your mind and that you are not your thoughts and that you can control and choose your thoughts. Another thing you can do when you have those worrying thoughts are breathing exercises. And breathing exercises are great to do in the moment when you start finding yourself caught in those worrying negative thoughts. Because the breathing exercises help us calm down and get the prefrontal cortex part of our brain back online. And the prefrontal cortex helps us to think critically and make decisions, which we need to do in order to turn those negative thoughts into positive ones. So I like to do belly breathing and one reason is because it helps us get out of our mind and into our body. Because guess what? Our belly creates no thoughts. And so I also like to think about a cute little teddy bear with a chubby little belly, like the one next to me. And so you could imagine that teddy bear, you can even imagine yourself as a teddy bear, and feel the breath in the belly. So let's take a few moments to do that. 
We're going to sit up tall. And if it helps you, you can place one hand on the heart and one hand on the belly. And what we'll do is feel our breath lift both hands on the inhale. And on the exhale, everything melts back into place. And on the inhale, our breath lifts the torso. And on the exhale, melts everything back into place. And so if you get one of those worrying thoughts in the mind, stop, do some belly breathing, as long as it takes to help you feel calmed down and be able to turn those negative thoughts back into positive ones.